Borsal Boy has just extended its run at the Gazy Theatre. We're here to meet Peter Coonan to find out a bit more about the play and about the return of Love Haze. Are you delighted with how it's been going so far? It's great uh, to see that people are enjoying the show and that, um, that they're setting it for an extra two weeks. Hopefully everyone will get a chance to see it. Um, yeah, it's been a great response so far. What's it like being up there on the stage on opening night, looking out and seeing the audience? Opening nights are tough because, you know, you're your peers are out there and your the journalists and stuff are out there as well so i think it's just getting through opening night but we had a good opening night it went well and there was a great reaction from the audience as well were you nervous about taking on the role you would be nervous playing brendan Behan uh, in dublin um anyone would you know but it's good nerves you know it was something that you know i think it's great to get an opportunity to do you know and um, that everyone would get an opportunity to do that and to work with gary and connell and the rest of the incredible cast was was a joy to do, you know, and now um, we're really enjoying it at the moment, you know. Were you nervous about taking on the role? I knew a bit about being all right, yeah. I'd read, like, Beans in New York and a couple of other stuff about him, but um, I hadn't read The Borsal Boy yet, which I read uh, subsequently. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I mean, I suppose the preparation was reading a bit of that and then just rehearsals and stuff and letting letting the character develop over time. And what's the difference between this and your TV, TV work? Is it a lot more nerve-wracking, or do you kind of just love the buzz of performing live? Uh, yeah, the buzz is pretty incredible. The um, It's different it, with Love, Hate. Like, you know, you're there, or uh, films, you're in from 7 to 7, and you get home at a normal time and have dinner with your family and, you know, see your children. But um, I suppose that's just the, the, the kind of um, thing you have to get used to, jumping from one to the other. Love, Hate is returning to our screens this Sunday. Are you excited for fans to see what's next? I'm just excited about seeing it itself. I can't wait. Um, yeah, I, I, hopefully people like it. You know, um, I think we. I think it was. A, it's a great series this year, and uh, I'd be very, very surprised if people didn't like it. And is it really hard keeping the storylines under wrap? Do you ever like accidentally drop something into conversation that you don't mean to? Uh, no, we've we're, we've become very careful over the last uh, number of years to. Uh, warned to keep <laughs> tight-lipped uh, no I mean I think I, people just don't want to know the majority of people you know so we just keep it to ourselves and I don't even tell Kim my girlfriend you know or family I just keep it under wraps there's always going to be surprises in this show you know people seem to really have taken them into their hearts do you really enjoy the reaction you get on the streets um enjoy <laughs> I suppose Enjoying it is one one thing, yeah. It is. I mean, it's nice to, that people love the character, or that people enjoy watching him. I mean, you've got to question people who do enjoy a character like that as well at the same time. But um, no, the the reaction's quite positive, and um, it's great that people are enjoying the show, and it's wonderful that people have taken fans through their hearts. People are so proud that it's Irish. It's a nice being part of something that's a really positive thing for the film industry over here. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, so many of us of us have been given such great opportunities because of it. I mean, this is one to be able to play in the Gaiety Theatre. Um, four years ago, I wouldn't have had a chance before Love, Hate. Well, not that I wouldn't have a chance, but you know, with Love, Hate has really given me an opportunity to um, do a lot more of my career. And I'm sure all the other actors would say the same. But I mean, to be there from the early stages and something that's been so successful worldwide, you know, um, we were nominated for Television Award last year with like, Borgen and Breaking Bad and and the best shows from all over the world so it's it's, it's quite remarkable and th that it's a homegrown TV show between the writers and the actors and the producers and people behind the camera it's uh, it's, it's incredible I think I, th I think it'll be one of those things that in it won't be until like five or six years when whatever's happened has happened that w w you look back and you go like you know, that was an, an incredible thing to be a part of because when you're in the middle of it, you can't really appreciate it for what it is. You do appreciate it, of course you do, but when looking back, you'll go, well, you know, because it, it'll stay in the stay in people's hearts and minds for so long, I think. You became a dad for the first time this summer. How's that been going? It's going great. Yeah, oh, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, that's the best, it's the best thing that's, that could ever happen to you, really, yeah. It's wonderful. I mean, taking everything in, into perspective. I mean, hopefully my career goes well, but... um. Yeah, Beth is pretty amazing. Yeah, it's nice, nice days when I get when you're in the play and you get your mornings off to wake up this morning early and uh, have the crack with her. You know, so it's lovely. Thanks so much for talking to us today. Oh, thank you.